Via Rail's Ocean Train is North America's oldest train, as it's been running since 1904. The train runs between Montreal, Quebec and Halifax, Nova Scotia, and it's a vital source of transportation in Eastern Canada. Just this past month, I took the train from Amherst to Moncton, and one of the employees said that it was the first trip on board the ocean where passengers could explore and walk around the whole train since the pandemic started. On this episode of Bite Sized Adventures, I'll be showing you Via Rail's The Ocean. me, you 100% know I love trains. I take any opportunity available to make content around trains, and today is no different. Upon boarding my train for the hour-long ride to Moncton, I was told by a Via Rail employee that everything on the train is now open and that passengers may explore the train as they please. I hopped on this chance and began filming everything I could as a train tour. Alright, so, as you can see, we've made our way. I need to do a bit of a seat review with you guys, because... Look at all that leg room. Legitimately, that is two feet probably closer to two and a half feet worth of legwork. These coaches are the Bud Hep Dash 1 stainless steel cars, and they were built in the 1950s for the Canadian Pacific Railway before Via Rail Canada took over passenger train operations in 1978. They were completely refurbished and rebuilt in 2019 with the goal in mind that any traveler can enjoy sitting and sleeping in them for the long Canadian train rides. So, this car here is what I like to call the museum car, but it's actually called the transition car. It connects the 70 year old Hep cars to the newly built renaissance cars that are just at the front of the train here. I call this the museum car because, well, it's like a little museum. Everything you could possibly want to know about Canada is just right here. It's like a museum on a train and that is so cool to me. Just like that, we transform from old coach to new coach as we pass into the new style renaissance coaches built in the late 1990s. I made my way to the back of the train to work up to the front to fully review this type of coach. And this is as far back as I can go. Now I'm gonna pop a seat right here. So it should be known that the Renaissance cars are a little bit newer. These coaches are nearing the end of their lifespan because they were not made for Canadian winters. This is what it looks like to recline your seat here. It actually goes pretty far back. I have to say, it's pretty good. Pretty good recline. Now it's time for my favorite part of the train to review. One of the Renaissance sleeper cabins, which I got access to thanks to an employee who allowed me to film inside. Now we've made it to one of my favorite sections of the whole train. These are the sleeper cars. There's this room right here that I'm able to show you guys. So let's go. So if you had a little bit more money than I do, you can get one of these rooms to yourself. And I'll show you around a little bit. Room for two people. Awesome. There's two seats. One of them is a window seat. You get a whole window to yourself. These eventually fold out into a bed. In one of my other videos, uh, my good friend Simply Railway showed us how you can fold these out into beds. There's plenty of storage space. You get a spot in the dining car, which is a huge, huge, huge important thing. And the best part probably, you get a private bathroom with a shower too. How often do you see that on a train? Anyway, I'm not the one who bought this room, so my time here it's kind of over. And now the last thing I have to show is the lounge car, which is my favorite spot on the whole train. One of the great things about the Via Rail lounges is that they are accessible to any passenger who comes on the train. Whether you're economy, business, sleeper, sleeper plus, prestige class, anybody can use the lounges here on this train. This train ticket cost me less than $20. But for 20 bucks, you get your own seat, you get to enjoy this space, walk around the entirety of the train if you want to. I don't know about you, but that's pretty worth it. My ride on Via Rail came to an end fast, so I gathered my things and looked out the window a few last times before hopping off the train in Moncton. There, I went to the locomotives at the front of the train to give them some appreciation to. Hello. And there we have it. Love the way is the slogan of Via Rail Canada, and it's actually part of the inspiration for my own slogan. Enjoy the destination but love the way there too. Today there wasn't a destination. It was all about the journey. The journey and comparing two different modes of transportation. I have to say this video was so much fun to make. I'll never get tired of this. This is always so much fun for me.